Hello, gorgeous. You're listening to The Girlfriend's Guide to Starting Over. On this podcast, we talk about everything from dating and relationships to personal development. We also speak very candidly about the F word, and by that, I mean failure. So grab a pen, tag a friend, and let's talk about it. All of it. Undergoing, overcoming, and simply trying to make it through. Hello, gorgeous. You're listening to the Girlfriend's Guide to Starting Over podcast, and I'm your host, Kayla. If you are just listening for the first time, then I want to say hello. Welcome to my platform. I am so excited that you have found me. And as always, if you are a returning listener, hey, sis, welcome back. So if you've been following me for a while or you are following me on socials, you know September has been all about mindset from the very first day of the month, preparing, gearing up for the Mindset Makeover Masterclass, uh, the Mindset Makeover 2.0. We are hosting that exclusively in the Plot Twist community group on Thursday and Friday of this month. Um, That's actually this Thursday and Friday at 7.35 a.m. Central Time. I will leave the link to that in the show notes so that you don't miss it. Um, But this episode is like all the others in which we are discussing mindset shifts that we can implement right away. Today, I've got five really simple ones for you, but they are going to change the trajectory of your life. So let's hop into it. First things first, we get to adopt the mindset that no matter what, I'll be okay. Um, As an anxious girl, a girl who has been very open about her journey with anxiety and managing her emotions and stresses, this is something that I have got to tell myself very frequently, or that I learned to tell myself very frequently, I should say, I will be okay. I often tell my clients and even my patients in um, corporate America, you have survived 100% of your toughest days. That means that your track record for survival, for making it through, for figuring it out is impeccable. It's 100%. Now, it might not have always looked like you wanted it to look, but you have survived. And so learning to adopt that mindset, no matter what, I'll be okay. No matter what, I have the resources to work through it. No matter what, I have the skill set and the knowledge to make things right. Like no matter what, I will be okay. This comes in handy so often when you're ridden with anxiety, when you're ridden with doubt, when you aren't quite sure if things are going to work out the way that you want. Adopting that I'll be okay mindset is going to change the game. It's going to change the game. That doesn't mean you're going to be joyful. It doesn't mean you're going to be jumping up and down right in the moment. It just means that you're going to be safe. I often quote the Mel Robbins mantra, I'm okay, I'm safe. I'm loved. I say that to this day, when I feel myself getting worked up, I put my hand over my heart. I do that deep breathing. And then I remind myself, I'm okay. I'm safe. I'm loved. Thing number two, mindset shift number two, things will always work out for the best. Now I know what you're thinking. You're like, now Kayla, you literally just said it may not be joyful. That doesn't mean that in the end, it won't be the best. I say all the time, how many times did Something didn't work out for you, but in the end, it really worked out for you. I relate this often to relationships, especially my first marriage, or you guys know I called off an engagement. If I had gotten what I thought that I wanted, I would be miserable. I have a period. I'm in a period of life right now. This season right now, I am so blissful. I am so over the top happy. I'm so like, doing the dang thing with my life and my career and like chasing my dreams. Had I stayed in either one of those relationships, I would not be who I am right now because I was not at liberty to be my authentic self. And so just remember that like things always work out for the best. You didn't get the house that you wanted, but another one came through. You didn't get the promotion that you wanted, but praise God, another one came through. So things always work out for you. Just remember that most of the time we attract into our lives exactly what we need or can handle in that moment. That that's just the way it is. We aren't always going to like it. That's just the way it is. Moving on to number three, the universe, your higher power made no mistake in your creation. 
You were created for such a time as this. We need you exactly who you were created to be. Like my coach often says that if you do not walk innately and authentically in who you are supposed to be and deliver whatever gift it is that you were given to the world, then the people who are assigned to you miss the message. And it makes the hair on the back of my neck stand up. Every single time that I hear that, you were created for such a time as this. You are not a mistake. You are enough exactly as you are because no one is perfect and all of us could have places or do have places where we need to grow, where we need to be stronger, where we need to do some work. But the reality is you are perfect just the way you are. Just the way you are. You're not a mistake. I don't know who needs to hear that. I really want to drive that home. It's like, we need you. Somebody needs you. And as broken as you feel, as flimsy as you feel, as much as you feel like collapsing, your life is so precious and it is so needed. And there's a reason that you're here. You are a light to someone. Never doubt that. All right, I need you to make that mindset shift right now. I need you to make that mindset shift right now. I am enough. I am a light. I have a purpose. We may not know what it is right now. Reach out to me. Let's link. We're going to go get it, though. We're going to we're going to investigate it and we're going to go get it. All right. Number four, I am responsible for my own happiness and well-being. I'm responsible for my own happiness and well-being. Do y'all realize the power in that statement? Do you realize the power? I am my problem. I am my solution. I am responsible for my own happiness and my own well-being. When you take that load off of your partner, off of your best friends, off of your kids, off of your job, off of you get to be responsible for what makes you happy. And that requires some investigation into your identity. Who are you and what makes you happy? What puts your feet on the floor? We get to do more of that. We get to do, nothing has the power to make you unhappy unless you yield that to them. So for some of us, it's time to take our power back, okay? And then number five, not everything is a priority. And that's okay. Not everything gets to be a priority in our lives. It is very common, especially as women, for us to try to do everything. We want to be the corporate boss. We want to be the Pinterest mom. We want to run the soccer rush. We want to do all of these things and be slim and fit and super sexy for our spouse. And while we can do all of these things, we're not going to be a boss at all of it. We're just not. Everything's not a priority. And it can be a priority, but not all at the same time. Like. Maybe Thursdays are assigned to soccer. Maybe Friday is date night. And maybe we hit the gym on Monday and Wednesday, but we don't necessarily have to hit all of those things every single day, every single time. And remember this while we're harping on this. Remember that your best is going to look different from day to day. Sometimes 65% is all you've got. And if you're given 65%, then that's your best for the day. I had to learn that lesson that, My 100% might be great on a day that I'm full of energy and I've had eight hours of sleep and nobody's fighting and everything is good. And then there's some days where all I've got is a smooth 85 and I need you to take it and I need you to appreciate it. And if you don't, then that's fine. I'm still going to keep it moving, right? So these are just five mindset shifts that you can start to make today that are going to change the trajectory of your life. It's going to change how you show up. It's going to help you to realize what's important, and it's going to give you back some control over your life. So I love you, girl. I want the best for you, girl. Remember, catch the show notes so that you don't miss the Mindset Makeover Masterclass, and I can't wait to see you. I love you, and we'll talk in the next one. Well, gorgeous girl, that's a wrap for this episode. I hope you found value, insight, or strength. I hope something was said that gave you the courage to push on a little while longer toward the life of your dreams. If you felt motivated during this segment, screenshot this and throw it in your stories and tag me on social. That way we can keep the message going. Have an excellent day on purpose and we girl will talk in the next one.